Hey guys, so I am trying out the new Daphne hair straightening brush thing uh, today. I got it from Farmers. Um, I bought it for $250, but from the 13th of March it's going to full price, which is $300. So it's not all that bad. I mean, you pay the, that same amount for like a GHD or a Cloud9 straightener kind of thing. So this is perfect for me because I'm quite lazy when it comes to washing to straightening my hair. So this morning I washed it, it is air dried. I just ran a brush through it. So you need you do need to brush your hair beforehand. So what I'm gonna do, actually first, so this is what it looks like. And it's all charged up. Um it only takes probably about 10 seconds to charge up apparently or to get up to heat. Um you can feel the heat already, and just before when I turned it on and it got up to heat, it smelled like warm you could smell it but I think that's just because it's brand new um, yeah so this is it it's got a really long cable which is perfect because the plug is like all the way on the other side of the room so um, yeah there's no temperature change things it's just the on and off button so I'm going to time myself to see how long it takes to straighten half of my hair apparently all you have to do as well is just brush it through but brush it through slowly not rushing as you would with a normal hairbrush so, um, let's get started. Okay, so it's been five minutes and it is not totally straight, but it is straight -er. Um It's kind of weird. My hair is very warm. It's not hot, but it's warm. But I've got very thick hair, so what I'm going to try and do on this side is I'm going to half it, do the underside, and then do the top and see if that works better. So um, we'll give that a shot. It's totally a model winning look. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to try straightening this a little bit and we'll see if this works. Apparently what they said is to get a small bit and run it through the brush. Kind of works. I'm just going to try brushing it. Usually it takes about, even with the length my hair is at the moment, about half an hour to straighten it. I think this might just take practice. I mean, it's not dead straight. But it looks a little bit better compared to what it was before. Um, yeah, I suppose. I'll try the this one. This bit's actually quite a bit thicker, so I'm going to half this one again. Cold egg. Mm. So I definitely think that doing it like I did on this side with the splitting it worked a lot better. Um, the side is still kind of curly, still kind of wavy, so it will. I will go over it again. Um, 
the thing with my hair, after I got it cut in October 2014, there's a, I'll put a link down below. Um, I think I did it, yeah. <laughs> so, my hair since then has not had any artificial colours in it. It hasn't been um, permanently straightened. It hasn't been bleached. It hasn't been highlighted. It hasn't been coloured in any way. It is virgin hair, if that makes sense. So, I think it worked quite well. I've been also washing my hair with like an argan oil shampoo and conditioner since then. So it is actually in really good condition, which is part of the reason why I cut it, because it wasn't in the best condition. Um, so, yeah. And like I said, I'm incredibly lazy when it comes to straightening my hair, and I want to go out more this year. I'm going actually going out tonight. It's just turned itself off. But yeah, the, so the ceramic is the purpley bit, and it's quite hot, it's quite warm to the touch. Now I did accidentally touch a bit of it before, and that was quite sore. Um, but I think it's actually pretty handy. You just have to sort of section it off and go bit by bit and take it slowly. But otherwise, compared to what my hair looked like this morning when I washed it, and what it looked like just before I started doing this, it is a lot better, um, but I will keep going before we go out tonight, so yeah. Um, I do like it, and I'll be taking it with me when I go to Rarotonga in April, so excited for that. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys next time. Okay, so I just tried something a little bit unconventional. When I dry my hair with a blow dryer, I flip my hair upside down. And blow dry it that way. So I tried that with the brush going over the front and the back. I think it actually looks a bit better. My hair is still a bit bumpy at the back. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Just there. But um, I like it. I think it looks good. It would probably be something that I'd use every couple of days. Um, yeah, I think it. I think it. Once you get the hang of it, and you just sort of have to get used to doing it over and over again. So it'd probably be best to do it at night before you go to sleep. But then again, my hair, it does actually look naturally straight instead of like, you know, hair salon straight. So I think it actually looks pretty cool. So uh, yeah.